Hello everyone. Let us see how to create a vector art in Photoshop. So let us start. We have the picture of this girl. We'll unlock the background and we will select only this girl we don't want the background so what we can do is we will just use the quick selection tool and here we have the option select subject right so we have selected the girl if you want a perfect selection uh, because uh, if you want uh, the hair to be selected perfectly uh, we can do one thing we can just click on this uh, select and mask and uh, we can just uh, click on this uh, refine hair and also uh, we can do one more thing that is uh, we can just uh, select the refine edge brush tool here and we can just uh, paint on her hair so we, do, we don't need any perfect selection uh, just we can uh, roughly select her hair and uh, then uh, we can just uh, try to change these uh, values here uh, like shift edge so we can see if in case we lost any portion of our hair we can get it back and then uh, the one thing we can do is here we have the option layer mask we'll just select that layer mask and then we'll just click ok so we got uh, the girl so now what we need to do is we will just confirm the mask so just right click on the mask thumbnail and here we have the option apply layer mask just we need to click on that that's it so now we only see the girl now the next thing uh, we'll do is uh, we'll not work on the original we will keep the original like this and we will start working on on the duplicate so we'll just take a duplicate so here we have the duplicate of this girl and we can simply hide the original right so once we got the duplicate uh, now let's start uh, creating the vector art so the first thing uh, we are supposed to do is we will turn the foreground and background color to black and white so the shortcut is D simply D right and uh, we'll go to filter and we will select filter gallery so once we select the filter gallery so we can just uh, check the options here here we can find sketch just will uh, collapse the sketch uh, icon and we can see different uh, sketch options here what uh, we are interested in here is the stamp so we can select the stamp option here and once the stamp option is selected we will simply uh, click ok we can uh, try to change these uh, values so in case uh, if we think the the default values are not so interesting we can just uh, change the values but it's ok uh, it's looking fine so we can just simply click ok right so the first step is completed now we can see uh, just a rough uh, sketch of this girl we can only see a silhouette or the uh, the black uh, paint on that girl that's it but still uh, we have to create a vector art so the next thing is we will be uh, applying some artificial colors and we will be creating a vector art of this girl so the next step the next step is we just take a, a layer above the girl's layer and uh, what we'll do is we will just select a skin color uh, skin color is somewhere uh, uh, around uh, uh, red and uh, orange so we can just uh, find the skin tone here so this is the skin tone right so once we have uh, selected the skin tone we also need to change the blending mode uh, let me select a little bit uh, a dark skin tone here 
So we need a dark skin tone. Right. And let's uh, change the blending mode to multiply. And uh, we'll select a brush. And uh, the next step is we have to make this uh, layer into a clipping mask. Means we need to clip this layer to the subject or the girl's layer. And we can properly give names to these layers. So we can say girl. And uh, we will just uh, rename the layer as skin paint. Right. And uh, the next step is we'll just uh, zoom into the image. We have to just uh, clip the empty layer to the girl's layer. So what will happen is uh, even if we try to paint outside means uh, over these transparent areas, we won't be painting on the transparent areas. We will be painting only over this girl. Right. So we can just start painting. But one thing is let's see uh, uh, whether it is too dark. So it looks uh, very dark here. So one thing we can do is we can just uh, reduce the flow amount here. So we can just uh, uh, reduce the flow amount and uh, we can start painting. So just uh, we can start painting here. So one uh, thing here is the blend mode multiply has no effect on the pure black color. It will not change the black color. It will only change uh, the colors uh, such as uh, white. So that is why we are able to paint on her uh, face. So we can just uh, carefully paint. So we need to uh, make sure that we don't paint on her lips because uh, on her lips we are anyways going to paint uh, a red color. Let's paint only uh, over her face. Right. So now we are able to paint on her face. Right. So the next step is uh, we will also uh, continue painting. We will also start painting uh, on her arm and hand. Right. So we'll also paint on her hand. So understand the flow here. So if you uh, uh, keep uh, painting uh, with uh, the flow value again and again, uh, the color might become too dark. So uh, we just have to paint only once. Right. So now our first step is completed. Uh, we have painted the uh, skin color. And just uh, we can zoom and check. Uh, we have uh, missed any places. Right. This looks better. Right. Okay. We have. Uh, uh, to paint here also here also her hand is there so we'll complete uh, her hand here so just uh, we have to be careful uh, let's not paint uh, outside her hand because on her dress anyways we are going to paint a different color Right.
So now uh, we have painted on her hand. Right. So now uh, our first step is completed. The next step is so we have to paint her shades. So let's start painting shades. So let's take a one more layer above the skin paint layer and let's clip it to the skin paint layer. Right. We don't want to paint anywhere on this uh, transparent uh, areas. Right. So we will just uh, give it a name. Highlights. Right. Highlights are the bright areas, the bright tones. So we need uh, to paint the bright tones. So in order to paint the bright tones, we have to find a bright tone here or bright, uh, bright color here. So br the bright color will be somewhere over here. So this is the brightest color. Right. And uh, we will also change the blending mode here. So let's change the blending mode to screen. Right. Let's zoom into the image. And uh, we also need to have uh, some imagination. So we should know where uh, we have to paint the bright spots. See, the, generally the bright spots are on her cheeks, on the forehead, and uh, also on her chin. So let's select the brush. And uh, first let's see how uh, bright uh, our color is going to be. So in case our color is too bright, so we might uh, reduce the flow value. So here our color is too bright. Let's uh, reduce the flow value here. Let's keep it to let's say 14%. And now we, will, we can just uh, try. Okay. So if we keep uh, clicking uh, twice or thrice, uh, the shade will become bright. So we can see here. But let's ensure that our shade or our color is not too bright. Right. So something of uh, something like this. Right. So this much is okay. And uh, then we will also paint on her forehead. So we can just paint uh, some bright spots on her forehead. Something like this. Right. And we can also paint a bright spot on her nose. We can just reduce the size of the brush. And we can slightly uh, just move it. Make sure that uh, uh, you don't paint uh, too much. Uh, the bright spot will be just over here. And we can just uh, slightly move. But here you have to be careful. Because uh, our hand uh, will shake a lot. Right. So this much is okay. Right. So we have painted the highlights. And also uh, we need a highlight on her chin. Right. This looks better. And in case uh, uh, if we want to paint some highlights on her arms, uh, we can paint. So see here. Right. So if we click uh, twice or thrice, it will become more bright. Right. And we can also do the same thing on our hand. Right. Something like this. Right. This looks better. Right. The next step is uh, we will also paint shadows. We want some dark spots. So we will just take one more layer and uh, we will just uh, uh, rename the layer as shadows and we will also clip it to the bottom layer. So we just have to hold Alt or Option in Mac and then click in between these two layers. Once the down pointing arrow appears, we have to click. That's it. Right. Now let's select a dark color. So first we need to pick the skin color and we have to find a dark tone or oh, something uh, that is over here. So this much is better. And now we can uh, start painting. 
uh, we can change the blending mode to uh, let's say multiply and we just have to paint the dark colors but we also need to have some imagination we also we should uh, know where the dark colors appear the dark tones appear uh, at the corners so generally at the corners so here let's start painting the dark colors so see here we can uh, see so just uh, I'm painting the dark tones so something like this right don't paint uh, too much it should look re realistic and we also need to paint uh, near her nose so something like this right this looks better don't paint it uh, too much they should not look uh, too harsh or too dark right this looks better and we also need some uh, shadows on her arm um, so something like this right so we will just also paint on her hand and uh, we can also paint over here right this looks better right so then uh, the next step is uh, we also have to paint a blush a pink color blush so for that we'll just take one more layer and again we will just clip it to the bottom layer and we will change the name of the layer as blush and uh, we will select pink color make sure that the uh, flow value is less and we only have to paint uh, the just uh, put the blush on her cheeks just uh, it should look like this something we can keep it like this it should be uh, just a mild so we can see here so something like this so this looks better right and uh, in case we want a little bit uh, darkness so we can try uh, some blending modes here right uh, we can keep uh, overlay if we want right so it's very mild here and I have done it uh, intentionally because it should not look too artificial right so the next step is we'll now start painting uh, her lips so we'll just take uh, one more layer and again we'll flip it and we will rename the layer as lips just zoom into the image and let's change the uh, lips color to pure red and uh, we can just slightly increase the flow value and let's see how the paint appears here so the paint is appearing okay let's change it to multiply here and start painting the red color right So here we have painted the red color. So the next step is we, uh, we will paint uh, some highlights on her lips. So we'll just take uh, one more layer and we can save uh, lips highlights. Okay, and we'll clip it and we will just select a uh, lighter tone something like this and uh, we can also keep screen as a blending mode screen blend, blending mode will brighten up the uh, color so let's see how it looks so we can see here we just need to just uh, create one line and we can also change the uh, shape of the brush we can make an egg shape here 
and uh, let's also change the angle and just we have to click so something like this so uh, we can just uh, do one thing uh, we will uh, increase the flow value here and we can also just uh, select a lighter tone lighter color and let's paint again so something like this and we can slightly reduce the flow here right so something like this and in case we think uh, the brightness is too much we can slightly reduce the opacity okay right now this looks better right the next step is uh, we will uh, start painting uh, her dress so what we'll do is we'll take one more layer and uh, we'll just make it into a clipping uh, mask layer and we will rename the layer as dress right so then uh, what we'll do is we will just uh, select the brush we'll select a green color so uh, okay let's select red color here so let's select red we want a red dress for this uh, girl and uh, then uh, we can change the blending mode to multiply and uh, we can increase the flow value let's keep it to 80 and also we can change the shape of the brush right now this looks better and we can start painting so multiply blend mode doesn't have any effect on pure black color so that's why the pure black stripes that we see here are not changing Oh, so let's not uh, paint on her hand. Let's paint only on her dress. Right. This looks better. right so the next step is uh, we will uh, paint green for her hat so uh, just uh, we'll click this layer we will rename the layer as green and let's uh, change the uh, blending mode to let's say color and we will pick a green color a dark green color and let's start painting we can increase the flow value to 100 So we can see here but actually the green is not too dark so we we'll, let's uh, try a different blending mode okay multiply looks better but one thing is uh, when we are painting with multiply let's uh, reduce the flow because uh, we don't want too much uh, darkness let's uh, uh, paint again let's change it to multiply Okay, so the flow value is um, let's change uh, let's uh, reduce it to let's say 45 okay so we can just paint with 45 right and actually we have missed some part of uh, uh, her dress so then I'll uh, just take one more layer here. So let's see, uh, right, this is better. We have fixed, fixed that part. 
right so here we lost a bit of neck so we will just uh, get back her neck just uh, we'll take a new layer and we will use the uh, let's say polygon lasso tool and we will just uh, uh, create a small portion of her neck so anyways uh, her neck is covered by her hair so we just have to roughly create her neck so something like this and uh, we have to just pick this particular skin tone here and also we have to give some feather here so okay here for the feather radius is six okay we'll keep six and then we'll just fill the selection with uh, the skin color so something like this uh, but we have to adjust it properly so what we need to do is so we will apply a mask so uh, just uh, we will apply we will just rename it as neck and we will just apply uh, a mask to it and we will select a brush and we will increase the flow value first we let's uh, paint it properly let's uh, get rid of some of the unwanted places here so just uh, we have to paint it properly something like this and then uh, what we'll do is uh, we will also paint the shadows and we'll just take one more layer we'll uh, change the blending mode to multiply we'll change the flow value to uh, let's say 37 and let's select the dark tone here and let's start painting the shadows the shadows should be underneath her neck or something like this this looks better right so this is better and we will come back to the neck layer and uh, we can increase the flow value here and uh, you can just just slightly paint okay we need to just uh, adjust it properly the neck is uh, anyways covered by the hair so just uh, we need to paint properly that's it and we can just uh, slightly uh, adjust the neck here we can use the warp tool here activate the transform tool and then just then we can just just slightly move it so that it looks like a realistic neck right this this much is better right So just uh, we have to fine tune the bottom area here right so uh, this is the thing so just uh, one uh, last thing what we'll do is we'll just take uh, one more layer here and uh, we also have to paint some hair strands uh, the hair is looking completely black so we just need some uh, shine on the hair so for that what we'll do is First, we'll create a brush, a proper brush, uh, by which we can paint uh, some uh, hair strands. So I have taken uh, one more document because uh, I will be creating a, a hair brush. So let's uh, scroll down to the brushes panel and let us find a, a natural brush. So here we have the natural brush. We will be using this brush for painting hairs. So here is the hair strand. So but we have to modify it a little bit. So what we'll do is we'll just go to windows and here we have the brush settings. 
and uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll just uh, turn on the shape dynamics and here we have the option fade so once we select the option fade so just see the uh, brush has uh, become the brush stroke has become very short uh, so we will increase the fade value here let's keep it to 300 so now we can see it's somewhat long but uh, what we want is uh, we want some fade out effect as well so for getting the fade out effect we will just turn on the transfer option and in transfer we have the same control option that we have seen in the shape dynamics option here shape dynamics control and fade and uh, we will just select the same control and here also we will select the same option fade and uh, here also we will keep the value 300 so what will happen so we can see there is a fade out effect here so we will be using this particular stroke for painting hairs so but uh, one thing we'll do is we will also save this stroke to save the stroke just uh, uh, click on the right side of this brush settings uh, panel here we can see a hamburger menu just click on it and we will just uh, select a new brush preset we can just give it a name hair brush right and we'll just click ok and uh, we can just see our hair brush appears on our brushes panel so now we have saved our uh, brush in our brushes panel right now we can start painting hairs we'll come back to our uh, vector art and uh, we'll just uh, take one more layer and we will rename it hair uh, layer right so then uh, what we'll do is uh, we need uh, a bright some bright uh, shiny pot on the hair so we can just uh, select uh, a gray color here so something grayish and we will change the blending mode to screen and we will also reduce the flow value so the flow value is very less just 14 percent and we can reduce the stroke size we'll just see whether it's uh, fine or not so we can uh, just reduce the flow value even further because uh, it should be very mild so something like this so something like this We can just uh, paint in some places that's it so it's very uh, low intensity it's having very uh, low intensity right So we have painted uh, the hair, the bright uh, part of the hair and uh, in case we think uh, it's uh, too bright, we can slightly reduce the opacity here, right, this much is okay, right. So the next step is, we will now take a merged copy of this vector art means instead of merging all these layers uh, we will take a merged copy of all the layers that we have used for creating this vector art so we'll use a keyboard shortcut Control alt shift e in pc or command option shift e in mac right the next step is uh, we will just take one more duplicate so we will use uh, Control J for duplicate or command J and then we will just change the blending mode to let's say soft light right soft light will add a little bit uh, extra contrast to the vector art 
and we can also slightly reduce the opacity if we think uh, it's too dark right right and uh, now we all have to do is all we have to do is we will just merge these two layers right and uh, just the final uh, touch up is there we will create one nice interesting background below this vector art layer Uh, just we will create a vignette background so what we will do is uh, we will just uh, give some uh, color here so we can select a uh, blue color and uh, we can just uh, do one thing uh, we can also create uh, one more layer above this uh, blue color layer and uh, we will do one thing uh, we will uh, create some uh, uh, paint just a rough paint so we can use this powder brush so this uh, powder brush uh, I have downloaded from brusheasy.com I will uh, provide the link in the description and we will also increase the flow value here so we'll change the colors so just uh, we'll paint some random colors so just to create some nice uh, fancy background that's it We can use different different colors here. So just uh, uh, keep uh, painting uh, different colors that's it right so then uh, what is the next step is uh, we can slightly reduce the uh, brightness of these colors so how we can do that we can just go to filter and here we have the blur uh, we'll just uh, use this Gaussian blur and we'll slightly increase the radius right and uh, we can also reduce the opacity right and we can change the blue background to black one okay now it looks better and the one last thing we can do is we can just apply a mask to this uh, hydol mask to this and uh, we will just use a soft rounded brush and uh, just we will keep the uh, keep white as a foreground color and then just click so that we can get some uh, vignette type of background right now this looks better and one last thing uh, what we'll do is we will just uh, apply a curves adjustment layer and we'll just reduce the uh, brightness so that uh, it looks uh, realistic right so that's it so we have created a vector art in Photoshop so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial please do like subscribe share and if you have anything to say do comment see you again